Good morning. Welcome to Sunday. Thank you, Mrs. H. How are you doing? I hope you're very well. Forgot to fill the sink, so that's a good start. How has the week gone for you? How's the weekend? Um, good health first, I hope. Good health. And uh, then good shaves. <laughs> That'll do. Right. This is all part of it, right here. So what we're we using? We're using two new products in this. Um, first one is the shaving soap, and that is Colmac uh, shave soap. If you remember, I used, I bought a set, uh, like a vintage set, Colmac uh, shaving set, and I've used this cream. It was nice. Uh, I can't remember. Did I use the brush? Could have done. I can't remember now. I haven't used the razor, but um, that's Colmac. So this is, I've used the cream. This is the the soap. So there it is. So it's a hard puck. Um, just a standard scent. It's a nice scent. It's what you call a classic scent. Um, so we're going to be using that. Uh, came in this box. Um, razor comes in this beautiful case. There's a vintage 1930s and um, this is the Gillette new short comb razor, D-razor. It's brass and copper. Now I've polished this last week. I don't usually do that, but I've polished it and it's come up absolutely beautiful. It probably looks all brass to you, but there is a difference. Um, the base plate is brass, the top is copper, as is this part of the handle that's copper but this here what the threads in that's brass there's a three-piece non-adjustable you can see there it's come up lovely uh, open comb razor and what I'm going to use today <coughs> excuse me is a is a new super uh, Gillette blue blade and uh, that is here There we go, there it is. Brand new. Place that on there. Yes, how are you doing in yourselves? All right. Are you waiting for any uh, purchases? And there we go. So it, there is a slight overhang to be aware of there. And it is an open comb, if you can see. Blade exposure there. So that's that. Move that out of the way. Brush of choice today is going to be the Yaki, uh, another sort of small knot, synthetic 22mm, the Kohler handle. Um, very nice, so I've just finished topping that up. Uh, I'm not going to bloom this, I haven't bloomed it, so I'm just going to chance, really, a sort of uh, wet brush and then we'll start off all this working pretty pretty good I'm going to use this uh, as a bowl very carefully we'll just gather off the top shave of the day please we having we having like not a meal is it oh a meal of the day yeah please if I remember the shave cream was nice Look at that, really, that's an old fashioned lock, isn't it? That's proper. So, what I'll do is I'll uh, chance that. We'll wet this ugly face and then uh, we'll get going. It's a, it's a nice, pleasant scent. As I say, it's a sort of a standard scent uh, I haven't got the uniform on today this is a gift from um, a friend of mine in London uh, Rob Phillips log off shut down and go outside but please don't do that until you've watched this <laughs> here we go Colmac shaving soap superb
I was looking on the uh, on Amazon uh, as you do and this soap on there is six ninety nine I think and that's what I paid for it but I got mine on eBay okay so we'll heat this uh, Gillette new short comb vintage razor beautiful thing stunning little razor here we go first pass with the super Gillette blue blade brand new It's not an aggressive razor. Wow, well, straight, straight through. Um, for me, it's a standard. This blade makes it feel. I might have said it before. It's for me. It's just under a feather in aggression, but very smooth. That's lovely. Open comb. But as I say, it's not aggressive. It's uh, in this razor, I find it just aids the escape of the soap and the whiskers as you shave. It helps it, you know. Lost some whiskers in the sink. Clean as we go. Nice slickness to the soap, which is nice. Not a, it's a stronger scent from the puck dry um, but you can still smell it when it's lathered it's nice it's pleasant it's mild um, just a standard sort of soapy scent these are beautiful brushes as you know if you own any synthetics yourself I think most people do these days um, synthetics have come on leaps and bounds they're excellent brushes for all mannerisms of lathering you know gathering the soap distributing it creating the lather as you can see there was a hard puck non non bloomed and um, no messing it's a beautiful soap there no dissipation some big words today <laughs> here we go cross the growth excellent short hev hev who's hev oh, i have head heavy if you're working this weekend many thanks for your service even if you're just on call really nice really nice Cross the growth now. Good slickness. As usual, it's uh, getting better with each application. It's a nice blade, this. Really like these Gillette, the supers, blue blades. Wow. 
Oh, yeah, it's good. So I'm glad I got it because uh, I've tried the cream and the soap then. Have you tried it yourselves, the cream and the soap? We're going for the old... Uh, not even been back to the pack. And incidentally, as always, I rinse this off. I take the puck out, rinse it, leave it out to dry on a bit of um, cloth I have here. Uh, just standing on its edge against a tile of the wall. And then um, rinse the pot out the lid, clean them, and they're ready. And then tomorrow, about 24 hours, it goes back in there and there's no, no issues at all. Meal of the day. Well, my meal of the day is going to be... I was going to do a roast pork joint. God, they were super expensive today. Today? For today, what I was going to use, what I wanted to use. Um, so I'm going to leave that until it's on offer. Only a normal joint. But um, I must have had high demand on them or something. <laughs> so I've gone for some pork shoulder. Or you may call it pork butt steaks with marble in it you know they're good for cooking good for flavor against the growth here we go and um, i'm gonna slow roast them and they'll be um seasoned with salt and pepper using the uh Himalayan pink salt, uh, which is lovely. And then um, I've got some carrots. I was going to use some veg from the garden, the broad beans. There's a few beans there now, about this big, and they're nice when they're small and young. Uh, but I'm going to leave them out another week, maybe a week, to, week or two. Um, broad beans are fava beans. whatever you call them but um so carrot i'll steam that and mushy peas so roast pork oh pembrokeshire new potatoes roast pork carrots mushy peas and lashentos of gravy We've had the first good shower of rain on Friday. Um, sort of started just after lunchtime. And uh, sort of carried on quite drizzly and then get quite heavy and then it'll let lighten up a bit. And But the good thing for that is I didn't have to water the garden. Good for under the nose. That was nice. Are you up to much today, yourselves? If you're home, seeing friends and family, whatever. Here we go. Hang on, I'm done, have I? <laughs> what time is it? Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. There we go. Nearly forgot then. Come on. Getting too excited, you see, enjoying this. And uh, I've got a few real ales and a few I was given for my birthday. Uh, one being um, a blonde. Not a blonde, as in a, <laughs> I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I? A blonde beer, blonde ale. Um, St. Pierre or something. 6.2%. Uh, Cork the lot, so it'll be under the wire. And... So 
So it'll be nice to see how that does, how that tastes. And I've got some ales, which are sort of a, they're labelled as fun ales, like happy, it's happy beer day, you know, birthday, happy beer day. So it's not a, uh, came as part of a set and that was off Mrs. H's sister and family. Excellent slickness. Really nitpicking now, but that is excellent. So cold water rinse, here we go, wow, and them nice huge things. <laughs> is nice that's a nice feeling when you do that with a towel so there we go that's what we look like gonna use some uh, Humphreys witch hazel which I've added some sandalwood essential oils to um, and it makes it much more palatable to the nose for me personally that is nice that is nice. Okay. And I thought, well, Aqua Velva Musk. Can't beat it. Oh, here's a good old classic. Uh, I have to shave this. Oh, smell that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, he'd love it. Oh, messing. They'd probably pinch it. Right, and then I was sent this by Global Shave Club. Sheldon, many thanks. Shave bomb, aftershave balm. You've probably seen it in other videos, maybe. But I've got to say something about this. Let me get some on the three squirts. It's a lovely balm. can feel wow very moisturizing well it should be shouldn't it <laughs> but the scent is absolutely gorgeous it's, it it has to be which I didn't expect to be honest shave bomb you wouldn't think by the name but it's a very aftershave cologne cl um, classy scent for a balm um, if that came in an aftershave I'd be very happy if there was an aftershave to match that because the scent of that has to be one of the nicest scented balms I've had as I say I had a shock when I first smelt it I thought wow that's nice and the first thing I said to myself I wonder if they do an aftershave but um, really nice uh, good stuff goes on nicely feels nice but the scent for me just blew it away it's a, as I say it's a cologne aftershave classy scent very nice for a balm and that is it so we've used the Gillette excuse me can <laughs> swallow and talk doesn't work you end up going down the wrong hole and choking we've used this Gillette new short comb razor three piece copper and brass uh, open comb 
mid aggression for me but the Gillette the super Gillette blue blade brand new uh, makes it feel just under a feather in aggression but very very smooth and very efficient uh, really nice we've used the Colmac uh, shaving soap um, very nice soap really easy to lather as you can see there no blooming nothing like that there's enough in the brush for the three and well three passes and the pickup time baby uh, really nice glad I bought it standard scent but pleasant stronger dry in the puck weakened as it's lathered but still pleasant it's still there uh, and it's very slick and gets even better as you use it on each pass the Yaki 22 millimeter synthetic cola bottle brush really nice um, we've used Welsh water to rinse thank you Paul Humphreys witch hazel which I've uh, put some sandalwood um, essential oils in it's always good if you do that uh, before you use it to give it a shake as you can see it's quite quite cloudy then oh, you've got a good head on that <laughs> don't do that and then the aqua velva uh, musk aftershave beautiful stuff aftershave cologne yeah lovely very very that's a very old classic scent and this which i say is a lovely balm so um but the scent is has to be one of the nicest balms i've used very cologne -y and very classic and that is me done ready to face the world so thanks for watching i hope you have some great shaves thanks for the comments again and for your support thanks for the time thanks for the chat and you know taking the time to watch these very much appreciated so um where are we out here on wednesday halfway through next week whew, time's going um halfway through the year time is going <laughs> so thanks for watching have a great week and uh, i'll see you on wednesday for the midweek shave bye bye